What's going on guys? Welcome back to Detroit Digest. I'm your host Carlos and here we are in another wonderful spot in the city of Detroit but it's a change of season. Usually when it's cold outside you might bundle up, you might look for something warm to eat. For me that means it's soup season. When you've been cold all day and you know that nothing could really warm you up except for a really hot soup, where do you go? We're here at Faux Lucky on the corner of Charlotte and Woodward in Detroit's Midtown neighborhood, or the Cass Corridor as you might know it. This place has become a staple of Detroit dining since it opened up. If you don't know pho, you're about to know pho. Noodles, broth, vegetables. Pho, delicious. One thing that I absolutely love about this place is that it is truly a bang for your buck establishment. This place not just has a great deal on its pho, but also I come here for the bun mi. It's a Vietnamese sandwich. This place has a great bun mi at a great price. And I usually load up on three or four of them when I'm going on a bike ride. I'm standing as well, right in front of the wall of winners or losers. Basically, there's a challenge, right? There's a challenge at a few places around town. This place has a challenge. Look at this bowl. Do you see this bowl? You see the size of Let's compare it to my head. I got a big head. If you can finish this in an hour, you get to be a winner and immortalized on this wall in your picture. If you don't finish it, you're a loser. No offense, but you're still here and your picture is still on the wall. So happy to share this place with you guys. I think that this place is truly a gem in this city. I'm gonna head to the table. I'll see you guys there. First things first, we got the bun mi. This thing is something that I make sure that I tell everybody about. This thing right here is one of the most banging deals in the city of Detroit. I'm telling you right now, an incredibly beautifully baked roll stuffed with Vietnamese ingredients to make the bun mi. This is a fresh roll done in house here. Still warm and on the inside, I got the pork. So you got cilantro, carrot, cucumber, a little bit of mayo in there. Uh, looks like a pate as well. I'm gonna go for it. I love this thing. Cheers. Mm. Perfectly crispy exterior, beautifully pillowy interior. Warm roll with a multitude of textures inside here. What I've got here is the textures from the crunchiness of the cucumber, the carrot. You get a little bit of the crisp on the exterior of the pork as well, even though the pork is juicy and soft. But the crisp on the outside is just that fresh grill. Couple that with all of the different flavors that you're getting in here. This thing. Mm. Couple that with the soup. Oh, whoa. Hold up. That is traditional. What is this? Tell me about it. So that's coffee. traditional Vietnamese coffee. That's tradition, that's how they make it over there, the cafe the thing. Amazing. Yep, yep, so they let the trip inside the espresso, no machine. You rock. Thank you so much, I'm really that's excited. Right. So like pitch black, see the coffee? Yeah. Coffee. He's the owner, he personally brought this out for us. This is awesome. A drip coffee, drip Vietnamese espresso in a cold cocktail. I'm so excited. This is gonna be for after dinner. A nice little iced coffee to cool me down, but I'm still working on this bun me. Next up, we've got the spring roll. Oh, how's that look? I can't see it from my side. Does it look okay? Does that look good? Does that look, that looks good to me. In my opinion, it's necessary. Every time that I've ever come here, I've definitely ordered this and I love it. Mmm. Mm -hmm. So in here we've got rice noodles, uh, thinly sliced pork, shrimp, uh, some lettuce, comes with the hoisin sauce. I love the sticky paper. You can just grab this paper at your local store and have a really nice, you know, roll up roll party. Me and my friends have done it, it's a blast. Get a whole bunch of stuff, put it in one of these, and you got yourself a party. Interactive, it's fun. Mm. Ooh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You get the pho and then you get all the accoutrements with it. This is it right here. So all these things here, you got some bean sprouts. Mm, super fresh. Lime, 
you gotta get the jalapenos. Michael, are you getting this? You can handle caffeine, right? Oh yeah. All right, the coffee's ready. The coffee was ready before I could even jump into my soup, so I gotta get into this coffee really quick. Vietnamese coffee made fresh, table side right for me. This is awesome. God, is that good. That's so good. You taste the grain, you taste the cream, you taste all the elements. Truly extracted from here. This is a great cup of coffee. It's a beautiful experience to be here. Honestly, take anybody who wants to this place and it's gonna be a beautiful spot. This coffee is delicious. You can taste every element of the coffee. I'm gonna put some of the fixings in here. I love bean sprouts. I love jalapenos. Definitely putting those in there. And then I'm gonna squeeze some lime. Typically, if you, uh, if you don't know if you're gonna like certain flavors in your soup, what you can do as well is just take a little bit of this broth, maybe add in a little of the chili garlic sauce. And put it right inside of your soup spoon right here. And you mix it up. Oh, ho, 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 I'm gonna like that. I'm just gonna put it in the whole thing. How's that gonna taste? Let's see. Am I gonna like it with the soup? Ooh, adds a little bit of sweet to it. Not too much of that, but I do like it. And then you just stir it all up. Wow, look at that. So many noodles. Mmm. Mmm. Noodles are great. Let's try a little bit of beef. Mmm. Not too fatty at all on the meat. Beautifully textured. Let's go for one of these meatballs. Mmm. Chewy meatball. Heavy flavor. Very savory. This is exactly what I needed on a cold day like this. Where we're hitting now the Detroit winter. You come here, you get fixed up real quick. Mmm. This is it. This is everything that I needed today to get myself feeling better. And the broth. Oh, that's so nice and warming. And I made it a little spicy. Not spicy initially at all. Broth is just good broth. You want to talk about warming the soul? That's what I just did. This is definitely the kind of place that you can come to just to get to-go food. It's the kind of place that you can come bring your friends, family, first date, anniversary, meet the parents, that kind of stuff. Either way, you're gonna feel happy, you're gonna feel welcome, everybody's gonna walk away having a good time. I like coming and I like just grabbing stuff to go. I get the sandwiches to go. Now that I know about the coffee, I'm gonna come and get a coffee to go. With that, I wanna thank you guys again for having me on the show. My name's Carlos, I'm your host. It's a beautiful thing that we do here. It's a beautiful city that we have ourselves here too. Cheers to you guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.